that. No, no, it's not all right. It was a nightmare, Alex. <laughs> it's my nightmare. My nightmare. Oh. Look, it's all worked out. All you have to do is keep quiet and everything will be fine. I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. I have a friend in the DA's office. He indicated that there is no evidence connecting you or us to the explosion. Um, Mr. Tyler is going to be back the day after tomorrow. I think I should talk to him first before I decide to do anything. Are you crazy? You want someone else to know? Why don't you tell Dan Rather? Look, Tambles, I did not tell you to blow up an airplane. You can't get out of it that easily, Kendall. You're in this as deeply as the rest of us, more so. And I did not tell you to murder anyone! There was a big difference between scaring off a troublemaker and blowing up a plane. You mapped out the problem, Kendall. As head of security for this conglomerate, you brought us in as special operatives. The man was threatening to go to the authorities about the bribes from the Tyler Corporation. You told us to handle it. What did you expect us to do? Slap his little wrist? I'm making this very clear to you. You have no choice but to shut up and stay shut up. That is, if you want to stay out of jail and alive. <laughs> Start spreading the news I'm leaving today I want to be a part of New York, New York These vagabond shoes Are longing to stray Okay, hold the focus I yeah. want to Enjoy be yourself. a part of it I thought you'd hate it. Oh, it's fabulous. That's it for today. Tomorrow. Here you go. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, tonight, remember? Cindy's having a party. You're all invited. Oh, all right. Great. Okay. Uh-oh. Mackie's got a girlfriend. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, I wonder. Anything interesting on Kendall's office? No. He's hardly even been in his office. He's cracking up. I'm telling you, we better arrange for him to have an accident before he spills his guts. How do you know he hasn't told somebody already? We got to find out. I want to tap on his home phone. He moved out. He's staying with that girl he's been seeing. She has an apartment in Manhattan. Then we'll go to Manhattan. Danny, I'd like to meet Cindy Lattimore, Cindy Lattimore, Danny Reynolds, How famous fashion photographer and slave driver. Oh, good. Uh, maybe you can help me whip him into taking out the garbage. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> Excuse me. Want some champagne? Yeah. Well, I have a whole lot of clean glasses here, but I can find you something. Here you go. Good class. No, 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 no. Try the glass, not the hand. Sorry. If you like, I picked it out myself, cost $3.95. A bottle or a six pack? It's a case. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh, Mac. Hmm. Is that serious? Maybe. I think I'll even drink this to that.
still no answer. We'll try again when we get there. Thanks for the invitation. Oh, I'm really glad you could make it. By the way, I think he's really crazy about you. <laughs> it's mutual. Where did you two meet? In a supermarket. I ran into her with my shopping cart. Better. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like a hit and run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of that, I guess I'll run. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming, Danny. Good night, Cindy. Good night, Matt. Good night, Cindy. Good night, Matt. Take good night. Bye. I thought they'd never leave. <laughs> For you. I bet I know what it is. I bet you don't. I don't know. Uh, You're right, I didn't. <laughs> Downstairs. Yeah. Outside the back door. Mm -hmm. You do that, and I'll go next door and feed Vanessa's cat. Yeah. And then. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> You have some explaining to do. I'm going to call the police. Ow! 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 Matt, please! Don't! Matt! Ow! We've got to get her back to her own apartment. She said she lives next door. No one can know we killed her in this apartment or why we were here. What about the phone? Oh, for God's sakes, we don't have time to worry about that. Your hands over your head. Over your Look, head. Look, I just turn around and face the wall. I just call the police. Turn around. I just call it. Here. Sure, sure. You have the right to remain silent. If you give up the right to remain silent, everything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. All right, gentlemen, let's line up against the wall. Stand in front of a number. A number. You, number three, move over. Well, you see him up there? Yeah. Number four. Number four, step forward. All right, Hopper, let's go over it again. You have any arguments with Miss Latimer lately? Well, that's funny. A neighbor heard your girlfriend yelling, please, Mac, don't. Look, the neighbor's nuts. We, we had a party. She heard some music. I don't know. How you know it was a she? Cindy has this nosy neighbor, Miss Rose. Had. 
You were seen yelling, ranting, battering the door down. Yeah, I know. The murder weapon was yeah. found right between you and your dead girlfriend's look, look, body. You don't Where'd you get that weapon? Look, I went to, you I went to take the garbage out. I came back, the door was locked. I couldn't get inside. I got worried. So I started battering the thing down. I said, where's a male model going to get a hold of a PK-9 with a Dufeld silencer? Oh, a Dufeld silencer. You seem to know a lot about guns for a male model. Look, you're forgetting something. You didn't find any fingerprints on the gun. And you didn't find any powder in my hand. You use gloves! Where are they now? We got you over a barrel, sonny boy. There's no jury in the world won't find you Look. guilty. Fuck them! I didn't kill her! A pleasure. Turn forward. I'm really good at posing. Thanks. Barbara? Got some personal articles here. And a visitor. I went to your place and picked up some things. Thanks. How are you? Danny, I've never known anybody like Cindy before. I'm not doing nothing until I find out who did this. I'm working on it. And Henry's going to help in any way to get you out. Well, why don't you get me out sooner so I can help you work? Uh, they didn't set any bail. I know. Daddy, but if he talked to the judge or the judge over the judge or somebody. There isn't a judge over the judge. Oh, come on. He could talk to somebody. It would blow your cover. I have a lot of good my cover does me if I'm locked up in jail the rest of my life. Now remember we belong here. Oh, they're cute. Good afternoon. May we see your invitations, please? Invitation? Well, we're here to present the fashion show. We can't let you in unless your name is on the guest list, ma'am. Oh, well, it is. I'm Mrs. Henry Tower. Your husband is on the list, ma'am, but I'm afraid you're not. Well, how tacky. Why don't you just go tell him I'm here? Ma'am, we have no orders permitting us to do that. All right, I will. Just wait here a moment. Many, many I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Let's go. Well, sir, your wife is outside and sort of demanding to see you, sir. I'm afraid you're making a mistake, Gordon. So you see, you are Henry Towler, aren't you, sir? Why, yes. But I'm not married. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Of course. Does that make any sense to you? That what? Wife? Okay, girls. Look at all those medals. Mm, I just love a man in a uniform. You're to be detained for questioning for trespassing on federal property. Henry! Corporal, get your hands off my wife. But, sir, you said... I'm very sorry about this, darling. Mm. You can be sure I'll have this man reported. Or stuffed. I take it, then, that this is not a social visit. No. It's about Mac. We have to get him out of jail. He's going crazy. You know that I run a delicate operation. People like Mac, with a heavy military intelligence background, is like a walking time bomb. I can't tell anybody that he works for me. Nobody even knows that you work for me. That's my point. But if we get him out of jail, then he can clear his name, and he won't risk having anyone know he works for you. I'm afraid it's possible. <laughs> it's not impossible, because I want Mac now. And if I don't get him, I'm going to stop operations. Daniel, don't start in with me. <laughs> um, maybe I should ask this gentleman over here about this. Hello, Vance. Well, Henry, hello. I see you. Well, you've got to tell me something. How do you rate such a lovely lady? <laughs> Danielle, this is Vance Brooks of the government budget office. And this is Danny Reynolds. I know you anywhere. Tell me, how how is it that a famous fashion photographer is out with a government official like old Henry here? <laughs> well, there are two possible answers to that question. Which one shall I use tonight? She's an old family friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, yes. Uh, excuse me, Danny, I have to run. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. Henry, so long, Ben. Now, Daniel, darling, 
You're not going to really tell anybody about our operation, are you? Oh, I wouldn't do that. Right. But I don't know how you can trust a man in jail. It's a walking time bomb. I'll see what I can do. Let's go to Cindy's apartment and have a look around, right? No, let's get you right home. Home? Henry really laid himself on the line to get you out this time. I know that. You have to keep your nose clean. But there's some more important... I am serious. You have to be a perfect person. Because if anything happens, Henry can't get you out again. So please. Say yes, Say ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> have to use a place next door. What about the police? They're done with their forensics. They've got 300 other unsolved murders to worry about. I doubt they're going to hang around here. I want to start looking for Cindy's killer. Matt, please, just take a shower. I'll call you later, and we'll discuss what we're going to do. Thanks, Ella. See you tonight. Matt, remember, keep, keep your, your nose, nose clean. clean. Right. This will work. Give me the drill. Our subject is entering victim's apartment building. I'll follow him up. Roger, back if it's on the way, sir. Yes? Hi, I'm a friend of Cindy's, sir. Do you mind if I come in? Oh, sure. Sorry to hear. Yeah. Uh, my name's Mac Harper. I, I didn't kill Cindy, really. I was in love with Cindy. I'm trying to find out who did. I, I wish I could help you. Uh, I don't know anything. I was out of town for the weekend. Yeah, I know. Uh, last time I saw Cindy, she was going to feed your cat. <laughs> Freeze, mister. I wish I could have been more help to you. I'm really sorry about Cindy. Thanks. No! 
Where'd he go? Oh, no. What the hell we got here, a monkey or what? I'll check up there. You cover the front. Right. I told you before, I don't know where Mac is. If you're lying, you're going to be an accessory to two murders, including one damn fine police officer who happened to be a partner of mine, and I'm not going to forget it. Mac is not a murderer. Now, someone is trying to frame him. They're doing a great job of it, aren't they? I know you don't believe me, but I don't know where Mac is. So if you would just please leave. Sergeant Steinmetz, I uh, forgot to tell you something. What could that be? Um, I really wanted to... I really do want to be your friend. Right, sure. I know you've been through a lot, and so have I. And... Okay. We'll be talking to you. Bye. Bye. Hello? Danielle, could he have possibly killed that policeman? Henry, you know he wouldn't have done that. How do I know? Because he wouldn't have. Then why did he run away? Because if he didn't, they would have locked him up and thrown away the key this time. This time? What do you think he put me through last time? He's going to put the whole department out of business. Henry, I will find him, and I will get to the bottom of this. Okay? Hello. This is Maurice A. Crawford. We met at the fashion shoot yesterday, remember? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do, of course. Good. Um, you know, I might have some company. Well, can you leave him at home? Um, yeah. Y yeah, I'll take care of it. Just give me an hour, all right? Bye. Makeup is falling off our faces. Yes. Ah, uh, Gretchen, I'm going to get to your single later, so why don't you take a break? Okay, great. Thank you, Ricky. You're welcome. How's it going, my man? Look here. Okay, ladies, find a bus and mascara. It's free touch time. Look here. Get this together. <laughs> All right, it's time for a new tune on the box here. Let me see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, ladies, we're losing light out here. Anytime you're ready, Danny, come on. And yeah, we're ready. Okay, Danny, go on Yeah, it seems to be holding up pretty good. Let's keep using it. Tonight we'll put all of the things aside. Tonight we'll put all of the things aside. You've been the time and show me some perfection. Say, Danny, why don't you open up another half stop, say about uh, six, uh, the light's starting to go, probably get a little better detail, huh? just doesn't know what's good for her. I can't, Vanessa. I haven't told a living soul. Now that means we can get rid of him. That means we may not need to. Maybe I should call Tyler in Tahiti and tell him everything. You picked one great time to go on vacation. Just don't do anything until you're sure. You tell him, sweetheart. 
You're right. You're always right. I won't. One of New York's finest doesn't catch you first, Henry Well, and he wants to strangle you with his bare hands. What do you want me to do, roll over and play dead? I think you should turn yourself in before an officer of the law's bullet finds its way into your body. No, I love Cindy. I understand. Are you with me or not? Yes, I am. Good. Look, I have a lead. What? There was a van behind Cindy's building last night, and it was there again today. And listen to this, after I found Zanuck's body, it was in such a hurry to get out of there that it almost ran me over. I recognized the guy behind the wheel. He was entering the elevator just before I found Cindy's body. But I got the license number. It's, um, 1NXF692. Great. Get Henry to run it, all right? Get Henry to run it. Henry wants to run you over with a steam shovel. He wants this solved, doesn't he? Yeah. Right. Henry, I want you to check a license plate number for me. You've got to be kidding, Daniel. Henry, don't you want this solved? All right, give me the number. Thank you, Henry. Boris T. Colbert. I've got his address, and Henry's checking on him. They've stepped up the surveillance. Well, what do you expect? There have been two murders in this building in the last two days. Even the NYPD can spare a couple of cars for that. Could we please get out of here before we get shot? I'm not leave until I find out if that van is back in the basement. Look, we've been to Culver's. It wasn't there. It's been here twice before. There's got to be a reason to keep coming back to this building despite the risk. We can't get in the front, and we can't get in the side. I happen to be an expert on the garbage entrance to this place. I'm not going to even ask you what that means. Come on. If you drop me, I'll tell my mother. I'm not going to drop you. Yep, this is the van there. I told you to be back here. Electric hookup? Look more like telephone wires. Nobody's home. Can we, uh... Get a closer look? I don't see why not. What's this? Bugging Central. Activated tape recorder hooked up to incoming phone lines. On the other end, I've got to be electronic box. What happened? Did I touch something? No, no, somebody's just activated the line. Come on. Bring it. Pick it up. Yes, dear. I'm fine. Now, how are the kids? Well, I'd like to, but we've been having a lot of around the clock corporate meetings. I'm exhausted. They won't let me out of here. Maybe in a few days. Uh, I have to go now. Yeah, bye-bye. Well, that was truly fascinating. Uh. What's this? 555 Oh, my God. That's Cindy's phone number. Cindy's?
The man that we heard on the tap was in here, in Cindy's apartment. Uh -uh. With the tap on the phone, we should have heard both sides of the conversation. Doesn't make sense that we only heard him. Yeah, I was never here before. It's a microphone. They're tapping the room next door, relaying it through Cindy's phone. I just got here to pick up the tape of the apartment, and we've got a problem. We lost the open line to the apartment, probably a malfunction. Should I go over and replace the equipment? No. I want you to come back here and help me with Kendall. He's back in his office. God, it must be Alex. They're bugging Alex. Who's Alex? My boyfriend. Well, that might be an overstatement. He's a wonderful man. He's in a lot of trouble. Very upset. Well, can you tell us his last name, where we can find him, anything? Alexander Kendall. He's executive vice president at Tyler Microdata on Long Island. Long Island? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. Colbert is a security man for Tyler Microdata. You're kidding. No. They're bugging their own executive vice president? Yes, Henry said that the FBI was doing an investigation on the bribes that Tyler Company was making to foreign governments. Was? Why the past tense? Because the key government witness against Tyler was blown up in an airplane explosion. Oh. Nice people. <laughs> Mr. Tyler is on line seven. Thank you. Hello. Yes, where are you? JFK on LaGuardia. No, everything is not all right, Tyler. I have to see you. It's urgent. No, no not here, Eddie. It's not safe. Are, are you coming into town? All right, all right, good. Uh, there is a, there's a park across the street from the place where I've been staying. I know to East 14th Street. Well, I, I think we can both be there in about an hour. No, it cannot wait, Mel. I have to see you now. Yes. Yeah, all right. Thank you. No, but it's urgent. I'm sorry, Mr. Kendall doesn't see anybody without an appointment. It's an emergency. Well, wait a minute, I'll see if I can get his secretary. Hey, hey, wait a minute! Come back, you... I told you, he's not here. Now, I'm going to have to call security. I have to know where he is. It is urgent. I don't know. He left in a very big hurry. Now, will you please... Thank you, Josie. Please? I'll take over now. I'm so glad you could drop by, but uh, I'm afraid you know too much to leave. I don't know anything. I don't know anything either. We don't know anything. Not a thing. Tavos, you better listen to this. I have to see you. It, it, it's, it's urgent. I could come to the office. No, not here. It, it, it's not safe. There's a park across the street from the place where I've been staying. I know it's East 14th Street. Kendall, take the helicopter? No. Good, we will. You and I in the copter. Anderson and Ford, take the limo and we'll meet you in town. And on the way, drop our two guests off in the Long Island Sound. All right. Yep. Good. Uh -huh. 
If we're going to catch him, we're going to have to get ourselves a chopper, too. Uh, we need a helicopter. Uh, one just came in. It'll be ready to go in a half an hour. No, no, we need it now. Uh, sorry, ma'am. The pilot's on the break. Well, then we'll rent one without a pilot. You can't do that, sir. It's impossible. Wait, you we'll, can't we'll do that! We'll work it out somehow. What are you doing? Go Ground control. Call police. You want to do this? We've done it before. Sort of. Sort of? What do you mean, sort of? Well, I'm driving a car. How different can it be? Why do you insist on giving me heart failure? <laughs> All right. I drove a copter in Vietnam. I don't like this. I'll go to the apartment. Suspect entering the building, take your positions. Hello, Alex. Tyler, thanks for coming. Hmm? What's so urgent? I've never seen you like this. began to blackmail us, and I went to security. That gal's in the way. I can't get a clean shot. Now's our chance. Kendall's in the clear and facing this way. All right, Harper, freeze! Give me an excuse to blow you away. Well, let's get it away. Come on, get Get out of my way. Steinmetz, he's the killer. We'll see about that later. Sorry. Ah! <laughs>
You're gonna pay. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to propose a toast. The man, the woman, who solved the mystery of the airplane explosion to the bafflement of government agencies. And I received a telegram from the district attorney which states that all charges against Mr. Harper have been dropped. <laughs> And I would like to say, every once in a while, I do make a mistake in 18 years as a cop. This is the second. Thank you. I won't ask you what the first one was. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me a minute. I'm going to listen. All right, Mac. Danielle? Yes. I'll be right back. Mac, I can appreciate how you feel after I lost my husband. I'm really sorry. Yeah.